Hello everyone, I'm Gary York, CorruptionBehindBars.com. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and please subscribe. Today, I want to talk about a very serious incident that is occurring in North Carolina. And unfortunately, North Carolina has had a string of incidents between riots, escapes, and fatalities of correctional officer staff. And something needs to be done about it. I was contacted today by a reporter in North Carolina on my thoughts on his article today. The Charlotte Observer in North Carolina has an article out today regarding inmates still escaping from North Carolina prisons. 17 escapes have occurred since 2016. Yes, a couple of those have been from work release centers, but many have been from inside the walls of the prison. And I sent back some comments to the reporter. Now, his article's already out. He's not asking me to quote for the article that's out. It's out now today. He just wanted my uh, personal opinion because we've talked in the past. And with all of the incidents that have occurred in the North Carolina prison system, I was, t uh, was telling him that my concern is where is legislature? Where are the politicians? Where are the money people? And you're saying, what do you mean, where are the money people? Well, while the politicians are running around making their nice salary, I'm sure they're eating very well, I'm sure they have nice take-home vehicles, where are the politicians to help our correctional staff in the prison system? Because obviously, North Carolina needs money in their prison system. Now, politicians hear this. If I was living in North Carolina, I would find out who is not on board with helping out the prison system, and I wouldn't vote for you, and I'd try to get everybody else not to vote for you. The people who vote for you, their safety is at risk when we have escapes from prison. These people who voted you in office are expecting you to keep them safe while they sleep at home at night. Yes, I know you have law enforcement on the street, and law enforcement puts their life on the line every day and every night to keep people safe. But it is our job to keep inmates inside the prison system once they have been convicted of a crime and placed in prison. It is our job to make sure they stay in the prison so that people can sleep safely at night. Now, you need to decide where you're going to get the money from because your North Carolina prison system needs money for manpower. So number one, you need to open up a lot of positions to fill your prisons with the appropriate amount of staff members to run the prison correctly. Okay, that's your job. Your second job is to come up with the money to supply the North Carolina prison system with the safety and security equipment that they need to run a prison, and that includes your perimeters, and the equipment needed to secure the perimeters, the vehicles for the perimeter vehicles, your prison transport vehicles need to be um, up to snuff, and they need to be safe to transport inmates from prison to prison, and they need to have the security built in those transport vehicles to make sure your officers are safe. Okay, so that's your second job, supply enough money. Maybe you need more concertina wire or razor wire, as m most people know it, around the perimeter of your prison. Let's get some money and take care of that. It's your job also, not just the prison management of North Carolina, but it's your job to give them the tools to complete their job properly and, I, and to save lives within the prison system. We've seen too much and too many officers in North Carolina attacked, beaten, and killed, and we're getting sick and tired of it. So you need to do something about it. And don't just jump on your wardens in prison management and say, why aren't you doing your job? You, it's your responsibility to give them the tools to do their job. So uh, think about that, and uh, I hope somebody uh, lets them know what I'm saying here. No, I'm not from North Carolina, but we've seen it happen in other areas also where they needed to fix it, fix the problem and money fixes the problem. Now, there's another area that you need to put money into. You need to give the North Carolina prison system more funds to conduct proper training, maybe to send people to proper training, because officers 
and all prison staff need to be aware of their surroundings. They need to know what to look for for a possible escape attempt. They need to know what escape paraphernalia looks like. They need to know uh, how to report something that looks out of place and who to report it to, when to report it. Always report something that looks like a security violation. And training on where to store items, how to keep items locked securely, how to keep things that could be used as ladders away from the perimeter, how to have proper tool control, how your dental departments can keep their sharps away from uh, the inmates so they don't take them when no one's looking, how the medical unit can keep sharps away from the inmates, how officers working in the dormitories and the caustic rooms can keep those caustics secured and keep those broomsticks and broom handles away from inmates, how to stop contraband from coming into the prison. There's a lot of training that needs to be done. So please, North Carolina is in desperate need of help, and I'm sure that you can find plenty of people willing to come and help train officers in the North Carolina prison system that need the training. I am very positive that North Carolina has some great officers that can train themselves, that can conduct the training themselves. The problem is the staff shortage probably is not allowing these officers in North Carolina that have the experience to break loose from their post to go train officers because they don't have enough officers to cover all the posts. So they, won't, they, they don't have enough officers to conduct the training. So nobody's perfect, none of us know it all. And I'm sure North Carolina has some great officers with some great training capabilities but you just need to provide them the tools to do it. So please, let's get on the ball and let's provide our prisons everywhere with the tools they need to keep the community safe. Uh, again, I'm sorry, but you have to put down your lobster and your steak and set it to the side and get your pen and paper out and get one of your financial bean counters over there with all your money to try to figure out a way to get the prisons their money and um, let's get the prisons rolling and let's get the prisons safe and let's keep everyone safe in the prison and in the community. I'll get off my high horse now. Thank you.